sure it's a lot of fun blowing a guy's head off with a close range shot from your double barrel shotgun, and yes, slicing up your enemies with slick and vicious swipes of your blade can never really get old. But this feature isn't about those things, because sometimes in games you want to do things from the shadows without ever really moving much more than just your fingers. By diving deep into the invisible digital walls that surround everything, and altering their structure to open completely new paths. In this feature, we're going to take a look at 15 games that let you do just that, and provide the player with some really enjoyable hacking mechanics. Watch Dogs Of course, we're starting with the most obvious, and by obvious I mean publicized choice. Watch Dogs is a game that is all about hacking. Hacking is your primary tool, and though you drive cars and shoot bad guys, hacking is ultimately what most stuff in the game centers around. From hacking into phones, to extract private information on people of interest, to hacking into traffic signals to turn the tide of car chases in your favor, Watch Dogs lets you do all of that. It's true that those mechanics aren't nearly at the level that much of the game's pre-release hype implied they would, but all said and done, they're still pretty solid. Watch Dogs 2 Next up, the sequel to the most obvious choice. Watch Dogs 2 is better than its predecessor in almost every way imaginable, and though that is admittedly not a very high bar, that shouldn't take away from how much of a leap it is in terms of quality. From remotely hijacking vehicles to messing with security systems, from causing power outages to siphoning large amounts of money from people's bank accounts, Watch Dogs 2 provides more hacking tools to the player, and leverages them excellently, not with just its story, but also by making its open world a playground for such activities. Observer Observer does something very unique by using its hacking mechanics in a horror setting, but it works surprisingly well. You play as a detective who, being a detective, often needs to interrogate people, and does that by hacking into their minds. It's instantly fascinating as a concept, and Observer deserves credit for executing it very, very well and stylishly at that. The hacking sections in the game are undoubtedly some of its highlights, and though the game is not without its flaws, when it's good, it's really good. Uplink This is a game that has hacking mechanics imbued into its DNA. Everything from its narrative setup to gameplay mechanics to how those mechanics progress are out and out about hacking. From altering records to stealing data, from making sure you're covering your digital tracks and can't be traced, to eventually progressing to better programs that can help you hack into even more secure systems. And it's not an easy game. The punishment for failure is harsh, so you always have to be careful about every step you take. Hack Mud there's a high chance that Hackmud isn't a game you've heard of much, or even at all, but those who have played it will tell you that it can be a weirdly captivating experience. You play as an AI bot in a digital world devoid of anything but other AI bots, in a game that is best explained as a digital survival game. It's a constant fight against other players to not only keep your own digital possessions safe, but also try and break into others' accounts and steal their stuff. Granted, it isn't the most accessible game, but if and once you do get into it, there's nothing quite like it. Deus Ex Human Revolution The main selling point of any immersive sim is that the game provides players with a vast number of ways to accomplish any single task, and any of them is as valid as any of the others. In Deus Ex Human Revolution, one of these paths is hacking. From getting inside people's computers to extracting vital information, to deactivating deadly security systems to, at times, open up entirely new paths that can help you circumvent large numbers of enemies. Hacking is always presented as a viable choice in Human Revolution. The fact that players are also usually rewarded with decent amounts of credits and XP for successful hacking attempts makes it an even more attractive option. Deus Ex Mankind Divided it wouldn't make sense to praise Human Revolution for its focus on hacking and not do the same for Mankind Divided. Because structurally and mechanically, Mankind Divided offers that same level of freedom and encourages hacking with the same incentive as its predecessor does. Hacking is often the best possible way out of really tight situations and can be used to the player's advantage in a number of situations. Mankind Divided's hacking mechanics are even more gratifying because the game doubles down on them as one of the main pillars of its gameplay. Hacknet Hacknet owes a great deal to Uplink in plenty of ways, with it following much of the similar rules and a similar setup, but it expands on Uplink in numerous ways. It consists of some excellent hacking mechanics, which progress in terms of scale and difficulty as the game continues, but it also contextualizes all of it well, with a story that can be genuinely interesting at times, and also isn't afraid to, at least on some occasions, ask some morally gray questions that might not be easy to answer. 
Gunpoint Gunpoint is an excellent game for a lot of reasons, from its crisp art to its satisfyingly gruesome violence. Every objective in the game is a puzzle box, and though said gruesome violence is indeed an absolute blast, there are other things players need to do to accomplish their objectives as well, which mostly revolves around using the crosslink to rewire controls and affect everything from light switches to security doors to even weapons being carried out by enemies. Gunpoint gives you the tools to hack your way through its levels, and make sure they never feel underutilized. Quadrilateral Cowboy Quadrilateral Cowboy takes two things that are immensely fascinating to anyone playing a video game, heists and hacking, and meshes them together in a single experience. Every level sees the player going to new places, some of which are some pretty bizarre environments to pull heists. While you mostly take on the role of the hacker, typing commands into your computer to disable security systems, unlock doors, and identify routes that are not being surveyed. It's an interesting concept that is delivered in short bursts, and though it does leave you wanting more, what it does provide you with manages to stand out. Else Heart Not Break Like so many great indie titles, this got lost in a sea of AAA releases and their extensive marketing campaigns back when it first launched, which is really quite unfair because it's a brilliant game. Not only does it give you the tools to be a hacker of anything and everything, and then gives you excessive means of making use of those tools, it also makes it so that the way that you use them has a profound impact on other facts of the game itself. What this does better than a lot of other games on this list do is that while it is very much still a game where hacking is front and center, it is about so much more as well, and none of these things ever really feel at odds with each other. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time This is perhaps the most gamified representation of hacking in any game in this entire feature. In fact, really it's not hacking at all. Sure, it's called hacking within the game, but when you are actually hacking, you're doing it through a twin-stick shooter minigame. But there's no denying that it's tons of fun as well. It injects a lot of variety into the game, and these sections can be surprisingly enjoyable. Sure, in the real world, hackers don't break into computers by controlling a digital, muscular Bentley mounted with two guns, but in the world of Sly Cooper, that's a lot of fun. TIS 100 Quite different from most, if not all other games on this list, because this is much less a game than others. Don't get me wrong, this is still a game, but it's a game of numbers, of logic, of solving actual puzzles that are purposefully designed in a manner that you actually have to apply yourself. It presents hacking mechanics through problems that you either can't help but admire for their cleverness, or can't help but have nightmares about. If you like numbers and good puzzles, then this is a dream come true. If you don't, well, there's plenty of other games out there for the feeble-minded people, like myself. Shinzen IO Shinzen IO is made by the developer of TIS 100, and at their core, the games share the same DNA. Shinzen IO is also a pure yet simplified representation of hacking, more than most games on this list, and it too presents players with problems that are essentially puzzle boxes to be solved through code and circuits. It also adds on some stuff to that framework, seeing you actually build things through these means, and thus having to worry about their individual parts as well. Like TIS 100, it's not the most accessible game. Duskers Dusker sees you controlling a group of drones, with your objective being to make your way further and further into derelict ships out in space to look for scrap and salvage, while making sure that if there are any violent life forms on that ship, you never have to come across them. You do that in incremental steps by accessing the ship's command terminals and making use of things such as airlocks, traps, and the ship's own mechanisms to take out any threats that might be lying in your path. It's slow, it's methodical, and it's amazing. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.